Okay, class, uh, Mr. Bean here again. This is now uh, AP Physics uh, Lab 8.8, .8, Kirchhoff's uh, Circuit Theory. And this is now part two, looking at parallel circuits. Um, so here we have parallel circuits. And let's uh, take a look at an actual demonstration of it. So here we have a parallel circuit. Notice here that uh, uh, current flow can go here, like so to here. It can go here like this, and finally it can go here like this as well, okay? And uh, let me go ahead and do some annotation, annotate. And so we might be able to call this uh, resist circuit, uh, resistor one. Uh, we'll call this here resistor two, and we'll call this here resistor three. Now, one of the advantages of having a parallel circuit is what happens if the circuit connection breaks? If it breaks, then you still have current here. So for Christmas tree lights, uh, this would be very advantageous. Let's go ahead and reconnect it here, and now we have current here. So here we have a 9-volt battery. Here's a 10-volt resistor, and here's a, uh, what do we have here? Uh, 9, 10 volts and 10 volts. So let's take a look at the voltage first. Let's see what we got here. So let me go ahead and see what we have here. So we add, let's make sure we check this. Uh, so this is nine volts. Okay, let's go ahead and check here. And we'll check, uh, check here, nine volts, right? Let's check the voltage across this resistor. It's also nine volts. And how about here? It's also nine volts. And how about here? It's also nine volts. So curiously, the voltage law, the voltage is the same across all these resistors when they are in parallel. So let's go ahead and make sure we understand that nine volts. Okay, this here is also nine volts. This is also nine volts. And this here is also nine volts. Okay, so that's saying that the total voltage uh, is the same across V1 equals V2 and equals V3. Okay, that seems okay. So that's the what's well, a little bit different here uh, in parallel uh, circuits for voltage. Okay, let's hit pause here and let us get caught up. Okay, so let's now look at the current situation. How does uh, how is current affected? So first of all, take a look over here. So the current leaving the battery is 2.7 amps, and the current returning back to the battery is also 2.7 amps. Okay, so let's go ahead and kind of write that out right now and just kind of uh, talk about the current being 2.7 amps here. Okay, and let's just kind of see what we have going on. Take a look at this first resistor here. We have 0.9 amps going in, 0.9 amps going out. Okay. Over here, we have 0.9 amps going in, 0.9 amps going out. 0.9 amps going in, 0.9 amps going out. So it's 0.9 amps. So it appears to me that this has to equal <clears throat> across uh, resistor one, uh, what do we say? 0.9 amps, okay, across resistor two. Oh, what was that again? Let's make sure we've got that. Uh, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, okay. So uh, we'll go here, uh, plus uh, 0.9 amps, plus 0.9 amps. And so 0.9 plus 0.9 plus 0.9 equals 2.7 amps. So it appears that the current law has to be altered just a little bit. That has to equal I1 plus I2 plus I3. All right, so it uh, looks like the voltage and the current relationships are switched from the series circuit as compared to the parallel circuit situation. So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and hit pause and we'll get caught up. 
Okay, so we're back to the uh, Google slide presentation. So here's the uh, Kirchhoff circuit theory relationships for a parallel circuit, parallel circuit. Uh, again, the uh, total current equals current across I1 plus I2 plus I3, and all the voltages are equal uh, in a series, in a parallel relationship. Now, what's different is look at the resistance, the total resistance. When it was series, we just added them up together. However, here is an inverse relationship. You really got to watch your math here. A lot of people will make mistakes because they forget to invert it here. So it's a uh, inverse relationship here. So we need to just kind of be aware of that. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at, uh, uh, let's go ahead and analyze this circuit here. And let's see what we can do here. Uh, and we want to figure out what's the current what's the power, and what's the voltage across all the circuits here. So that could be a typical problem. And we want to look at this problem here. I'll let you read this here. And uh, we'll go ahead and consider making a VERP table. Okay, I'll go ahead and pause here for a minute and let us get caught up. All right, we're going to start our uh, circuit analysis of this parallel circuit here. And generally speaking, it's a good idea to, first of all, just put in all the knowns. So this is 12 volts is right here. Uh, all the resistances are given. In fact, let's go ahead and maybe, uh, let's, you know, let's call this one here so we know what we're talking about. Uh, this will be two, and this here will be three. Okay, so we have this relationship here, okay? And we put in all the values that we see here. Now, generally speaking, you want to kind of get the resistors going. Try to either get them in series or parallel or what have you, but let's try to negotiate the resistance, the resistors first. Now, these are parallels. We just we cannot add these together and get 6,000. We have to use this relationship over here. So uh, what that means then is that it's going to be 1 over uh, R. Now, I like to do, we can call R equivalent for the entire circuit. What's the uh, uh, resistance of the entire circuit? So we'll go over here, and we see that it's going to be 1 over uh, 2,000. Okay, let me make this uh, right here. Plus uh, 1 over, I'm going to do 2K because I can't write very well. 1 over 2K plus uh, 1 over uh, 2K. All right, so uh, if I do this all the way out, what I get is, this is R equivalent here. Make sure we're good on that. Uh, this is gonna be, now, if I just, because it's all like terms, we'll just go ahead and do this. This is three over uh, 2,000, like so. Okay. Now, here's where a lot of people make a mistake. Uh, we have, this is inverted, right? So if I were to uh, flip this here, this becomes, uh, R equivalent, like this here, is, uh, well, from here, uh, R equivalent is going to equal uh, 6, uh, 6, 6, uh, point 7 ohms. Okay, so that's the relationship here, and I'll let you do the math here and see if you get this value. So over here, we'll go ahead and write in here 6, uh, 6, 6, 0.7. Okay, go ahead and hit pause here and let you guys get caught up. Okay, so uh, 6, uh, 6, 6, 6 or 667. Now, remember the voltage? The voltage here is the same uh, across all the resistors. So this is 12 volts. That means that this has to be 12. This has to be 12 as well. This also has to be 12. Okay, so we do that. Now take a look here. This is current here, right? And what we can, we notice that the current has to all add together, but I can probably figure out what the current's going to be here by using Ohm's law. So V is equal to IR, okay? So using this relationship for here and here, I can quickly solve for the current. In fact, the current's going to be, if I do the math correctly, it's going to be point uh, zero, zero, make sure that's a zero there, six, okay, 
this is going to be 0 uh, 0.006 this is going to be 0 0.006 here, okay, by using Ohm's law. And now we can see that the total current is going to be this, this current, current one plus current two plus current three. We can add these all together, or we can also do Ohm's law here as well. And the total current here should be zero, uh, what, point zero one eight is the total current. So that means, uh, 0 0.018 is coming into here. Yeah, remember, we should probably should have drew this here. There's the current flow like this uh, through here, like so. Here's the current flow through this here. And here's the current flow through here as well. So each of the currents is 0 0.006, 0 0.006 amps, 0 0.006 amps. Total current leaving is 0 0.018 uh, amps. Total current coming in is 0 0.018 amps. The voltage across each of these is uh, going to be uh, 12 volts using this relationship here. And power is simply going to be P, again, is equal to IV. Now, there are other ways to calculate power, but power is equal to IV. And um, go ahead and pause here and let people get caught up. Uh, last step now is to calculate power, okay? So power here, uh, so I times V, uh, 12 times 0 0.006 gives us uh, 0 0.072, okay? Uh, 0 0.072, uh, point, uh, point zero seven two and we add these all together here and we or you multiply i uh, i times v here and we get uh, zero point two one six we can also be a so uh, voltage times resistance gives us uh, 0.216 but if i add up all of these together i also get point uh, 216. All right, so this is a circuit analysis for doing uh, uh, Kirchhoff circuit analysis to a parallel circuit. So this will conclude uh, part two. So from this video, these two videos, you should be able to negotiate the SIMS and some question pre response type questions. All right, if you have any questions, make sure you text me via Remind or join my Zoom.